Good morning, everybody. Had a semi later wake up this morning. Jack stayed at my house last night, so this morning we are going to go do 50 minutes of fasted cardio. I'm gonna take him kind of through my day. We are training chest and triceps today, so we're gonna be filming a cool workout. I don't really have anything planned for today, but I just kind of wanted to make a video. We're gonna have some fun, I think, hopefully. Also, we are in the three week phase out mark now from competition date. And my competition venue actually got changed from Laurel, Maryland, which is like close to me, to Richmond, or not Richmond, Alexandria, Virginia. I'll leave the information to the contest venue in, uh, in the description. I'll leave a link to the website in case anybody in that surrounding area would like to come to the competition and support. And it would very much mean a lot to me. But I'll also like keep you guys updated on my Instagram. So follow me on there if you don't already. Let's go to the gym. You have to give him the, the rundown of what it is. All right. Hey, so <laughs> this is the old mom who can't eat like Dominic does. So mom has to make salad. We take our lunch. So today, got a little fat in here with some fresh avocado, some skim mozzarella balls, some chicken, a little bit of olive oil, lettuce, carrots, cucumbers, all the good stuff. Have a great day. <laughs> you sound exactly like me when I talk. <laughs> so every single morning before I do cardio, I do abs for about like 15 minutes. I kind of only do one exercise because I already have pretty developed abs. So it's just four sets of 20 cable crunches, except with these kinds of handles, these are better than the ropes. So I'm gonna hop into this, raise those glucose levels, then go hit some cardio. Ab guy, going down. These are my favorite ab exercise, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Holy fuck. God damn, a whole different pigment of red. So, we just finished up 50 minutes of stairs, fasted, really tired, really sweaty. So we're gonna go home back to my house and get some grub. I don't know what else we're gonna do. All right, so we are back home. I'm getting ready to make meal one right now, which is just like my eggs, oats, and I'm gonna try something different today. I get the option of like eight ounces of egg whites every morning or 25 grams of isolate. I usually go for egg whites, but today I'm just feeling a little bit creative and I'm gonna put some of my isolate and mix it in with my oatmeal. It's strawberry flavored, which is like my favorite flavored like protein powder. I. I don't know how this is gonna work, if I'm being honest. I think I just put a little bit more water in, but we're gonna test it out and just see if it tastes good. So we got our 40 grams of oats, 25 grams of isolate. We're gonna pour that right in. And uh, I get, usually it's like one cup of water per serving of oats. So I think I'm gonna put like a cup and a half of water in, just see how that works. I'm probably gonna put a little bit more much. All right, so this is how it's looking. Kind of looks like vomit. I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. It's a little bit more like vomit, just with some oats in it now. Oh, I spilled a little bit. And I'm still gonna add my cinnamon and Splenda like I usually do, but ooh. I'm just interested to see how this works. So, <laughs> we're gonna put our vomit in the microwave, cook it for two minutes for now, check on that later, and I guess I will see you guys when the final product is done. So we have our protein oatmeal, protmeal, proats, proats and oatmeal, pro, 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 pro. First impressions, it's very gelatinous, I guess, I don't know, it looks weird. Looks like straight up like vomit. It smells like strawberries, but like burned strawberry. Um, and it just has a weird consistency. So I guess we'll do a taste test. It's still pretty hot. Mm. 
Holy shit. That is really good. It needs a little bit more water though, a little bit dry. That's good. I don't know if that's just me. Oh, Dominic, you only like it because you're on prep. You've been starving yourself for 11 weeks, 12 weeks. To that, I have to say, yeah, you're right. I don't know, it's good. This is my last week that I'm letting myself do isolates and like um, substitute for other foods. So I thought I might as well try something. It's all right. Honestly, I'd rather, I'd prefer like my normal oats just cause like the Splenda and cinnamon really accents the oatmeal and it tastes really good. But this is still very good. Very strawberry -y. Strawberry E. Definitely did not put enough water in this. It'd be interesting to try this with different flavors. And I got my eggs right here. Not terrible, to be honest. Not terrible. And then these are just always good. All right. I'm gonna hoover this. And then I don't know what's gonna be next. Okay, I lied. Towards the end, it tasted like shit. And it just felt like I was shoving sandpaper into my mouth. Oh, there's Jack. Don't recommend. Maybe I did it improperly. Let me know. Because I probably did do it improperly. But yeah. It just feels grainy. And my stomach's probably going to be upset. Which is sad because oatmeal was like my highlight of the day. We'll make it correctly next time though. We'll just probably stick with cinnamon and two splendid packets like usual. That's my favorite. It's my go-to. I'm going to shower and shave my face. This Jack. So me with my creative prep mind gave Jack some honey, honey, I don't even fucking know, honey lucky charms. Yeah. Honey lucky charms with a medium sized banana and some skim milk. He says it tastes very fucking good and I very much would like to eat that. But I have to wait like two hours to have nine ounces of turkey. <clears throat> okay, the time is 4.12 in the afternoon. Cooking up some ground beef, 93.7 for meal three. We're sprinkling some homemade taco seasoning on it right now. Just some like ground cumin, red pepper flakes, salt, a bunch of weird funky stuff. If you guys want the recipe for this, 100 likes on the video and I'll drop the recipe. But we're just sweating the meat right now, kind of getting all the waters and the fats out after I cooked it all and mixing it all together and i will show you guys very quickly once this all soaks in how you can make your meats a little bit leaner this is already a very what i call it very lean ratio of meat to fat it's 93 percent fuck 93 percent lean seven percent fat which is very good oh god don't be like me it's food everywhere so we're gonna let this sit on a low heat for like 30 seconds. Once your meat is all finished, you take it, get a strainer, pour it right into there. Make sure you get all the meat so you don't waste any of it. Just throw this off to the side. Get water and just wash the meat. Basically, this is just rinsing off some of the fat. You can see in the sink, it kind of just like floods around. But basically, we have a very lean, meat here. Standard. Good shit. This lurked up. This is the best tasting thing I've ever had in my life, I swear. Every single time. Dude is straight vibbing. Jack is inside. Yummy. Dude, I it looks like I just fucking seamed them out. We are posted up outside of Old's gym. Today, chest and triceps, upper chest focus day with some slight golden hour action. Gonna have a good workout. Gonna make it a raw workout, so not a lot of music. I just music playing. Let's go. Ready? Yeah. 
we just warming up on incline dumbbells right now. Yes. So we're doing three sets of six to eight on incline dumbbells. And there being one rest pause set on the last set to 10. And you guys will see what a rest pause set is. And then we're dropping by 50% and taking it to failure with the slow eccentric. So it's gonna be fun, gonna be great. That's easy. <laughs> you should fuck, you should do 80s. Jack next to Joe Gold. <laughs> So I discovered the reason I can't push it up as good on my left side is because my re my left rotator cuff is so fucking weak. So definitely have to work on that. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Look, these literally. This kid is talking mid set. Fuck this kid. Fuck you, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm going back down to 70s because my rotator cuffs are weak as fuck. So I'm gonna just stick with these for this last set and my rest pause, and then drop to fucking 35s for my my tempos. <laughs> Push. Oh my god. Dude, I think you could do a hundred. Rest pause. We're doing a set of eight or a set of six, at least six. If you can't get more than that, rest for 15 seconds and then do as many reps as you need to do until you get a total of 10. So I'm going to just go to 7. Come on. Now I rest 15. He's made it. Fuck rotated cuffs. Piece of shit muscle group. Look the light for Flat is harder, apparently. All right, we're on cable. Or fuck. Second masters, bro. God damn it. We're on peg deck flies. We have to wear fucking masks. I'm not covering my nose so I don't breathe in a fuck ton of CO2. Let's get it. Twenty. 
Oof. Chief Keefe in this. Cleavage. that squeeze. That looks fucking hard. I am having a shit workout, lol. I look like dog shit today, which is so funny because I looked fucking sick yesterday. So, we just did post training cardio, which I do four times a week now. Eight minutes of high intensity on the elliptical, 20 seconds really fast. 40 seconds slow, going back and forth. Elliptical fucking rips. Yeah. That shit rips hard. But damn. We're gonna head home, eat some grub, and I'll catch up with you guys soon. It is literally fucking 9.30.